trinket. Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we talk about every single item, every single enemy, every single everything in The Binding of Isaac. I'm William Hughes, and I'm joined, as always, by a guy who's death, but not for you, gunslinger, Gary Butterfield. I am uh, deaf, but not for you, gunslinger. Yeah, Gary, you got it in one. Cole would have loved that. That's a that's a gunslinger reference. Dark Tower reference. Yeah, I, I figure there's just the main gunslinger and then the gunslinger from Into the Gungeon, but you're not referencing that gunslinger. I'm probably not referencing that gunslinger and his eventual dark fate. Yeah, his, uh, is every, yeah. yeah, everything I know about that game come from the wiki and the TV tropes. He does have a dark fate, unlike the dung, the gun, the dung slinger from uh, the Dork Tower, who just goes <laughs> dung slung, dung slung. It's me, dung the char- I'm, I'm a Hollow Knight character. I'm the dung slunger. I'm the dung slunger from Stephen King's Dung Slunger. Ah, uh, good old, good old. It's Stephen the Dung King. Tower. There Gary, you ever read that uh, that Midnight Pals uh, Twitter account? No. Uh it's like kind of weird fan fiction. Like, what if? Uh, Stephen King, H.P. Lovecraft, Clive Barker, Edgar Allan Poe, and uh, Dean Koontz were all, like, friends at a summer camp. Okay. It's surprisingly funny. Like, it, it's better than that just made it sound like. I will it's say mostly... that the, the way that you just made it sound had incredible webcomic energy. Yeah, but like, it's that not... That sounds like so much like a webcomic that I would never it read could... in a million years. It like... could work as a webcomic, but instead it's just, like, dialogue Look. between the characters on Twitter... Uh, and it's pretty funny and pretty mean about like modern trends with books and pop culture. So, well, that that uh, I, in in theory, that sounds good. Yeah, I'm yeah never and that's the, highest, that. that's the highest. That's the highest endorsement. Well, I'll start retweeting it aggressively. It, then I will see it. That's the only way I'm going to see it because I'm not going about to read a, a Twitter account, like a fictional yeah, Twitter mean, account that I keep up with. Are you? Yeah, nuts? I mean, I mean, it's not a narrative. There's no narrative. It's just like okay. What, let's make the jokes of the day. Uh, you know, any time but J.K. Rowling people. talks, she shows up as like a snake person. I like that. Because she's horrible. Gary, she's know. not good. She's pretty bad. And yet we're uh, returning to Hogwarts. Welcome to Everything to Guppy, Return to Hogwarts <laughs> edition. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm Hagrid. Oh, your hey, Hagrid. How are you Harry? doing? What? Uh, you're, you're a podcaster, Harry. Oh, that's your famous line. Yeah. You got Hogwarts a letter for... from an hour that says he's a podcaster. Gary, it's not a letter from an owl. Sorry, Hagrid, it's not a letter from an owl. It's a letter sent via owl. In you don't world, say, oh, I got a letter from famous. my postal carrier. The letter is from the owl in this world. It's Harry Gary, Potter, Hagrid, can you, can you turn the Hagrid down about 10% for comprehensibility reasons? Coy, what? <laughs> Suddenly Coy, I'm fucking nostalgic so. for Winnie the Pooh. Oh, bother. <laughs> You're nostalgic for that little twat. Gary, can cool. I can I can I have my friend Gary back, please, Hagrid? Can you take him out of your mouth and I'm gonna take a piss? Oh yeah, piss oh, out, Gary. Oh, you know he just went to my bathroom. He's gonna destroy it. Oh, sorry, I was creating shatter a, the porcelain. Yeah, I was creating a rich Hagrid Gary Vore uh, comic thing going. You no, know, unfortunately, he hasn't eaten me yet. Gary, I got so, my fingers and my toes crossed for you, bud. Yeah, I want to go up that dick. Yeah, you want here's a phrase for you, a Hogwarts for podcasters. Ooh. <laughs> Amnesia, yeah. a Hogwarts for podcasters. Yeah. I I would uh I would really enjoy that. What a what what house would uh would we be in? I guess Hufflepuff. Oh, flop. But that just cuz it's the mean one. Which house? Flop. Wop. Flop. The Blop? Flop house. It's a podcast. It's a joke. You oh. asked what house it was, and I said the Flop house. The the, I, the movie I, podcast. At first, I thought you said "waff," and then I heard thought you said "plop." Yeah, Gary, like, I guess so it would be the plop house. It's the it's the house of podcasters that do the messiest shits. It's the IBS yeah. house, the proud of IBS house, where like I don't know, sixty percent of the people on Duck Feed have horrible IBS of some kind. Yeah, and and thirty percent of them are proud about it. <laughs> and yep, and the other forty percent are liars. Jeremy, liars, Greer. Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy does monster plops. Gary, did you just suggest that the monster plops, plops were the, the mean ones? Huh? Did you suggest that the Hufflepuffs were the mean ones? No, no, no. Just the idiot ones. No, they're the ones who believe in, like, friendship and togetherness. Yeah, they're dipshits. It's like you get to be noble, slightly less noble, stupid, or mean. Those are the the four houses. That is not a good... Gary, you're making me mad because I don't want to talk about this, but you're so wrong (laughs) that it's making me want to talk about it. 
Hey, I read the fucking books too. That's what they are. Basically, basically noble, noble and less noble, but a little bit more smart, stupid or mean. Shocked to learn you read a book. The, uh, you know, I've read books. You've watched me read a book. Yeah, just, um, of course we're talking you about locust of death. Of course we're talking about locust of death. Of course, is this the best locust? Maybe clods. the next one's real good. Is it? It's just yeah. You get more locust. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can get up to four locusts. So in one out of every four times, it's it's worse, but most of the time it's better. Yeah. So this uh, this generates uh, another one of those little locust flies. Uh, this one does quadruple Isaac's damage, which is good. Pretty good. You know, pretty good. Yeah, and except with this one, since there's only one, it's probably just going to like run into the first fly in the room and kill itself. Yes. Locust Fortnite has been a little bit rough to come up with stuff to talk about with regards to these locusts. Well, Gary, it's almost like it's not that important to talk about the game. The Hufflepuffs aren't dumb. They're just dependable. What about Cedric Diggory? Diggory's a real idiot. Excuse me? Shit. Batman himself? Cedric Diggory? Yeah. The they're, Batman? They're, they're, they're little dopes. They get the gardening teacher. Like the way that they write those books is to portray them as little idiots. And then it's supposed to be surprising when they're like important in the end. Yeah. But Gary, that's slow witted morons. That, that's narrative. The aren't good. Bud. No, I know that's narrative, but it's still what I'm, we're both talking about narrative. <laughs> I'm talking about how they're portrayed. Yeah. <laughs> that's not a comeback to what I said. They're setting <laughs> up expectations so that then they can toy with them. Yeah, but only one of the Hufflepuffs comes back as noble. The rest of them that, like, she spent the entire several books nagging are still just idiots. Just one of them coming back. It's more about Cedric Diggory and uh, what's-his-head, the little fat one, as opposed Who? to anything about the the Who's the little club. fat one? Uh, what's-his-head? Uh, real dipshit with the big slack jaw who turned real handsome at the end. Neville Longbottom's a Gryffindor, yes. Gary. There we go. He's a Gryffindor, well, Gary. What's the other little fat one? <laughs> I have, I'm not going to reread the books for this. Gary, but I think it's important that you impeccable. reread the books for this. There's no other <laughs> little fat one. You were just thinking of Neville Longbottom. I probably was thinking of Neville Longbottom. But we're all thinking about Neville Longbottom. At the end, he gets a sword. He cuts off yeah. a snake's head. Yeah. Cheap. Makes me cry. Cheap, made me cry. Cheap narrative uh, thing to just be like least likely to is actually most likely to. Yeah, it makes cheap. me cry every time, Gary. Oh, I thought those books ended stupid. I'm mean, as somebody who read them even before the controversy. I was like, Oh, these are good. I'll read these. Uh, I don't like the last couple of them at all. Yeah. I've never read them. So, Oh, well, the that's not true. I, I read them. I just don't care. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't Gary. I got to admit, I've been, I've been just a lie. Like if, if, without even thinking about it. <laughs> like, yeah. I think so. <laughs> like what a weird lie and instant backpedal. <laughs> I mean, it's like we gotta send that to your therapist. It's like one of the weirdest things you've ever done on here. <laughs> what a therapist. If I had a therapist, this show wouldn't happen. Uh, click. I'm your therapist. <laughs> okay. It's another session of Doctor Butterfield. Uh, yeah, I've never read the Harry Potter books. That was a lie. Yeah. Oh, Analyze okay. that, please. Wait, well, is it the truth or is it a lie? Hmm. That's your fun puzzle, Mr. Therapist. Nope, that's not how a therapist works. Not everything is a game or a puzzle. <laughs> Little man. Uh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> uh, in this scenario, your therapist is 20 feet tall. Yeah, and Don Rickles. Yeah, and, and <laughs> very Don Rickles. Man, a 20 foot tall Don Rickles is the si like the size of a 30 foot tall normal man. Oh, Gary, if we... We got to play some Gary's Mod together and make that happen. <laughs> um, we're getting together and making a Minecraft server where we make a functional Don Rickles using Just, computers and redstone. Yeah. We oh, wow. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you pull this lever, it calls you a hockey puck. Yeah. <laughs> Soma. Uh, you Gary, can... do you think anyone has ever done a 3D render model of Don Rickles? <laughs> in general or in Minecraft? In in general, in any kind of video game game where you would make a skin, has anyone made Don okay. Rickles? I, I in Minecraft, I think very low, not very likely. Uh -huh. In general, fifty fifty. Okay, God, that would be an amazing like. 
Gary, I really want this to exist now. Like the fucking Skyrim mod. <laughs> just get on the Nexus and just hockey download puck, hockey puck, hockey puck, hockey puck, hockey puck. <laughs> I used to be an adventurer. Then I took a hockey puck to the knee. To the knee. Yeah, that'd be incredible. Oh. You're just, Gary, I'm so delighted by the idea of walking through Winterhelm, just like hearing <laughs> hockey puck and looking over and there's fucking Don Rickles. Rickles in the Skyrim engine, like walking up to you all weird. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, you just come uh, into solitude with the, and uh, on the executioner stage, they're cutting off Don Rickles' head. <laughs> what I do deserve this, John. <laughs> uh, the, uh, oh man, the Rickles. Uh, I'm Rickle Rick. Is there is there <laughs> Rickle's dick? Gary, no, don't don't stuff. ruin perfection, buddy. Don't <laughs> okay. stop chipping at the statue. Oh man, uh, what should people do if they like this show? Will uh, Gary? They can go to Patreon.com/slash Duckfeed TV to support the network and mm-hmm. indirectly support the show and pay for or both directly. of our therapies. Um, and you can leave us a rating review on Apple Podcast or Podcast Attic. Uh, or uh, anywhere podcast reviews are found. But I'm only going to read them on Podcast Addict or iTunes or Podcast yeah. Addict or whatever. Apple Podcasts. Where are we expected to look? Yeah. I think someone left one in my Twitch reviews or something. I got to look at that at some point. Yeah. We got several uh, but this one, stream, but It's true. Uh, this review was left by Tanuki Boot on Podcast Addict. First thing I thought of when I switched from iPhones to Android. I can finally review Guppy again. Nice. I already, I already did a funny one. So I'd just like to say that this is the podcast I get most excited to see new episodes for. Getting the whole week in one long episode as a Duckfeed patron is pretty intense, though. It's a real final transformation scene from Altered States when I listen to them all at once. Five stars. And that was a five-star review. Thank you. You seen that end of Altered States before? I've never seen Altered States. Oh, man, it's not a good movie, but it does end with a guy like... It's... It's the thing that, like, the weird parts of the AHA Take On Me video are, like, riffing on. Oh, okay. Where he's, like, slamming into walls and, like, there's, like, weird animation techniques and stuff. There's a seven-eyed wolf being crucified when you Google image search it. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, I I gotta see this. Wait, are you you sure you're not confusing with Altered Beast? No, 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 no. It's Altered States. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, this this image is incredible. It's a guy being crucified. It's mostly... Why don't they call it crucified, Will? Gary, we'll get into it next episode. It's such a better name. Uh, Aldia. Uh, 